One interesting thread that I've noticed from both of your uh, arguments is that you both have very much kind of built businesses by directly monetizing your audience, right? So yes, maybe some of you have done sponsorships and so on, but like, it seems like you guys are using this primarily for like business purposes, not just like to create the content for sake of the, like a lifestyle influencer, a fashion influencer, a food creator or something, right? So um, I, I want to, Alex, I actually want to go to uh, you first on this one. Uh, and I want you to, to tell me why you think it's actually easier to make money from Twitter than Instagram. Two minutes. I mean, I have to be honest, like it really depends on the on the industry you're working, right? For example, if you're a writer, then it's 100% easier to make money on Twitter because literally your tweets are your portfolio, you know, your threat are your portfolio. And, you know, going back to what you said before, how we met, you reach out to me. I didn't reach out to you, you reach out to me because you liked my content and you said, hey man, I need help with my content. So, you know, that's little proof that, you know, you can build a business. And actually I, b back then, I remember I, I, I didn't have a huge audience. I think I had like a thousand followers or something like that. Mm -hmm. So. You know, that goes to prove again that you don't even need a huge audience. You just need to put like quality content out there and that content acts as your portfolio. So I think that's one of the main reasons. Obviously, if you are like a photographer, then Twitter might not be your place. So, you know, depends on the industry that you are in, then definitely if you are a writer or, you know, something more like the written word, then it's definitely easier. Another thing that I pulled out, I, I did some research on this and uh, an article on Hootsuite too, actually. It said that the follower value of Twitter is higher than any other platform besides LinkedIn because the income levels are also higher and the education level is also higher. So, I mean, it's not, it's not to say that people on Instagram are dumb or anything like that, but the average <laughs> user or the user that, yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, I, Alex, I didn't say that. Alex I didn't say was that. Save, he was saving stats, Steph. He actually had some stats and he was <laughs> saving them for the no, juiciest I, part of the, of the debate. Wow. Okay, go on, go I, on. I, I, really, I really don't think it, it is, but in my, yeah, actually in my own uh, personal experience, I've seen that I've seen that um, I, I also try to build an Instagram audience and I have some amount of an audience there and the quality of the subscribers that I got from my newsletter, which is my main, my main revenue uh, driver and my main you know, source of income, uh, one of my main sources of income, it has been higher from Twitter always, uh, like on lifetime value than Instagram. At least that's my own experience with the platform and I'm sure that Steph will have like really good arguments on it, but that's, that's how I see it. Wow, right at time, great work. Uh, Steph, all right, let's go to you. How do you suggest using Instagram as a money-making machine? And okay. I, I'm, I'm actually curious, like, uh, like, how did you do it? And do you think it's still possible if you were starting from zero today? Okay, so let's start with how I didn't do it, but which I know, like something that I know is very much in your ballpark, Justin, and that is, so sponsorships are obviously huge with influencers, bigger creators, they get a lot of sponsorships, especially people who can create really good video content. A lot of brands are spending a lot of money on creators who are doing that great content there. So that's one way to monetize it. Um, another way, if you have quite a large following, you can monetize your Reels views. That's great. But for your average creator, that's probably not something that's really in their, it's not in their, uh, their field of vision, right? They're not thinking about how am I going to get sponsorships and monetize my reels views when they're just starting out. So I always, you know, similar to what you two have both done on Twitter, I think Instagram is a really great channel for starting to sell those courses, services, whatever digital products, whatever you sell as a creator, you can use Instagram to do that. I think that's going to be better than trying to monetize natively on the platform. Now, where I think Instagram really shines over Twitter is it gives people, it gives the audience an insight into what's going on behind the scenes uh, for that, their favorite creator, right? Because their favorite creator can share photos. They can share behind the scenes videos to their Instagram stories. And this gives somebody in the audience an insight and they make them feel like they know this person really well. So then when this person sells them their course, they're like, oh yeah, of course, of course I'm going to buy that because I feel like I know you, I trust you versus somebody on Twitter where they might've been consuming their content, but, and, and yes, they might've been retweeting. They might've been chatting a little bit on Twitter, but as a creator, if you're scaling, there's no way you can manage that many different conversations. Um, so I think Instagram is better at a bit more of, uh, at a bit of scale. Um, what, where I would be focusing is really, yes, building that following on Instagram, but also giving them lots of calls to action to get onto your email list. <laughs> 